Hey there guys and thanks for joining me today on this video where I really want to talk to you about medieval engineers. I guess this video is a little bit overdue. There's been a couple of different videos on uh, YouTube already. Obviously the first one from medieval engineers, the uh, announcement trailer which got me extremely excited. And then I've also looked at a couple of videos from uh, Last Stand Gaber and Sage who've obviously been given the chance to try the game early. I'm extremely jealous and envious but uh, I can't wait to try it out myself. I'm super excited about medieval engineers because I really like the concept. I really I really like the fact that it's more of a um, uh, real world type thing where you get to build these really cool castles and I've seen so many cool things that uh, I'm very excited about. I really like the way the building works, it's pretty much like space engineers but then more for you like, uh, like a gravity environment. I really love the structural integrity that they're um, showcasing so far and I really like the idea just like in seven days to die that uh, you can't build things just on top of each other and you can't just keep stacking you know it, it needs to be a solid foundation um, and you know that's something that I've always missed in Minecraft for example where you can just have blocks hovering in the air um, and that will definitely not be possible yeah, I hope they add water I know they've said that they're not entirely sure yet um, I probably th you know, I, I think they'll probably come around and add water uh, in one way or another because you just can't really have a game like this and not have water. It doesn't make sense. One thing I'm curious about is to see uh, the scale of this game. You know, how big is an, a world going to be? Is it is it going to be a small world, a big world? Um, what is going to be the purpose? Is it just building two castles and then going at it together or will you actually have a bit of a, a survival type you know uh, area that you need to wander around to find things etc that's something I'm curious about is it gonna be survival enough and you know I need to make a base by gathering resources for trees and mining this and is there gonna be survival aspects to needing food or uh, drinking etc it may not have that considering you know the game is medieval engineers and in space engineers you don't really see that either you don't really need to uh, eat or or anything like that you just have energy for your suit so I'm, I'm curious to see how they're going to develop that in medieval engineers well I can tell you this though uh, Abby uh, the girlfriend she's extremely excited about medieval engineers as well so as soon as we get the game in February we're going to play it together and uh, obviously put a series online on YouTube so we'll have a medieval engineers uh, series so stay tuned for that I hope you are just as excited for it as I am uh, I really, really can't wait. And in the meantime, I wanted to let you know that I will be purchasing Elite Dangerous as well. So you can uh, expect some Elite Dangerous videos very soon. And I hope you'll enjoy those. I think you will because, you know, it's all very space orientated. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope to talk to you again soon. Uh, hopefully on the subject of medieval engineers.